Okay, everyone, welcome, welcome. We're gonna go ahead and get started. We are recording so we can share some of the information for any of our friends who can't be with us today. I am Selena Van Horn and I am the ITEP coordinator for our South Valley Integrated Teacher Education Program. Thank you for being here. I'm going to share a little bit about our program and then I'm also going to um, introduce my friend and colleague, our department chair, and a professor in our program, Dr. Fred Nelson. He and I are going to talk a little bit about um, all the things we love in our program. So just to get started, I first wanted to share about what we do in the South Valley Integrated Teacher Education Program. Our students transfer from community colleges in the South Valley area, and they work on all of their courses at the community college. They work closely with us in transferring over to our Visalia campus. So one of the great things about our program is that it is meeting a need in our South Valley. We have a need for more teachers in all areas. And this is really something we see across the country and the integrated teacher education program that we call ITEP allows for our teachers to transfer from the community college, complete their bachelor's degree in liberal studies and their multiple subject teaching credential in just two years after they transfer, which is about a year to a year and a half faster than our traditional program. It is a, a program that works all year round. The teachers are taking additional courses. They're dedicated to working in classrooms and doing amazing things. They take all of their undergraduate courses at our Visalia campus across the street from College of Sequoias. And then they complete their multiple subject teaching credential coursework at a local elementary school in Visalia Unified. So it's a really wonderful way to get our students in Visalia area to not have to leave to finish their degree. They get to be in classrooms. And many of them are even going into schools that they went to when they were in middle school, elementary, high school. It's really wonderful. Additionally, it is the gold standard program for teacher subject matter. So what that basically means is each of our courses are covering all of this information. You can see right here on the screen videos of us working with our students. This is an image of um, the work that we do at our Visalia campus, the place where they take their coursework and finish that bachelor's degree level courses. Um, they then transfer over to the, the schools at the Visalia Unified School District where they're in a classroom just like our kiddos are. And then they go out into the classrooms and work side by side with elementary school teachers teaching lessons, learning in the classroom, building relationships, and really connecting with the school districts. Currently in our teacher credential program, we have 48 teacher candidates and about 11 of them at this current time are in our bilingual authorization program. And they are working in dual language classrooms. What that means is that they teach throughout the day with their partner teachers, their mentors in both Spanish and English. And we have an even better revised bilingual authorization program where our students are able to take the courses they need throughout their time in the program get a bilingual authorization in addition to that multiple subject teaching credential. And by next year, they're gonna be able to teach in those dual immersion classrooms. We're so lucky to have them. They are working hard, taking additional courses, and they are going to be in our classrooms in a year. They're going to be able to support more dual immersion classrooms that we need in the South Valley and really all over the Valley. Thank you so much, Christina. It's wonderful to hear that see you here. It's wonderful for us all to celebrate the amazing work that our teachers are doing. Thank you so much for being with us today. Our next video that we're going to watch is a little bit about what happens on that school site. So Dr. Nelson, I want to just introduce you really quickly. Could you tell us what you do at our school site? Hi, everybody. So my name is Fred Nelson. And uh, I'm the chair of the liberal studies department and I've been involved with our ITEP initiative at the Fresno State Visalia campus in the South Valley since it started. 
And uh, I get to, I get the, the, uh, the joy of being able to teach our science methods class down there. And we are so thrilled that we are having in-person instruction in several of our courses for our future teachers now. Uh, we're able to, uh, to work with them directly and to provide some really engaging experiences and really model, we hope anyway, uh, a lot of the great teaching that we hope they'll be able to take to their schools and really get them situated already as members of the school communities down there, even when they're still students. So uh, it's a, it is an absolute thrill to be able to drive down to Visalia every week and meet with our students and uh, meet all 48 of them and get them going on their teaching pathway. Thank you so much, Dr. Nelson. And the courses that you're teaching right now are teacher candidates that have already finished their bachelor level coursework and are in that teacher credential coursework. Currently at our Visalia campus, we have another 49 students who will be with you next year in their credential coursework. And we have additional students who are joining our bilingual authorization program. We're really excited to see that. Our current students that are really applying to get into the program right now have been asking questions, working on applications, and meeting with our recruitment counselor and communications coordinator, Jesse Fidias. He goes to each one of our community college sites. He meets with the transfer counselors. He meets with the students, and he really gets them to know a little bit more about our program to ensure that they're taking the coursework that aligns with our gold standard program with the elementary subject matter coursework, and that they're able to meet all of those needs so that one really wonderful thing now by being part of our gold standard program is that you don't have to take additional tests to get into the teacher credential program. It's really a wonderful way for our students to be aligned all the way through. We really focus on a homegrown way of growing our teachers. We work with them from high school, getting to know about our program. They go into the community colleges and are able to be supported throughout their time there in those years that they're finishing the early coursework. Then they work with their transfer coordinators and counselors to move over to our program. And we have a real big need for students to get into the program. We have always more applicants than we can handle even in the program. And additionally, because it is such an intense and um, year round program, if our student teachers are working, they have to do that in the nights and the weekends, in addition to the many courses that they're doing and the time in the classroom. So in the past, we've been able to receive scholarships from the College of Sequoias for students who graduate from their program that have been so helpful to financially support our students. But it's definitely something that we're hoping to increase over time so that our students don't have such a burden on them financially as they are supporting their academics, their families, and additional work in their communities. Thank you so much. Um, if there are any questions, you can please add them to the chat. And Dr. Nelson and I would love to share um, a little bit more about that as we move forward. Um, we're gonna do, we would like to watch our uh, little video about what's happening at our Manuel Hernandez site here. And um, I'm gonna mute for just one second so we can hear the wonderful things they're doing. Hi everyone, my name is Andy Gomez. I'm the very proud principal here at Manuel Hernandez. I'm just here to share with you today some of the experiences that we are having here on campus as we host the Fresno State um, ITIP student program. I quickly pick a secret student, one secret student only. Hi, my name is Davin Meek. I'm part of the ITIP program. Today we did a review math lesson for their math test tomorrow. All right, yes, yes. The experience here at Manuel Hernandez has been extraordinary. I've learned so much already just in the first few months of student teaching, and I can't wait to do my final student teaching next semester. Hi, this is Mrs. Hernandez. Welcome to my second grade class. I am Ms. Meek's mentor, and as her mentor, I'm excited to help her in her teaching career. Oh my gosh, is this what you guys got? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. I've had the great experience of going into all of our classrooms where our student teachers are at this year. I get to see them, um, what they're learning in their classrooms with learning theory and with teaching strategies actually coming to life in the classroom with our students. And so watching them be mentored, watching them um, grow through the experience has just been a blessing to our students, our staff, and certainly our ITEP teachers.
I would just, just like to add that um, we look forward to continuing our partnership with Fresno State. Um, I personally just am thrilled every year to have more and more teachers, more student teachers in our classrooms. Uh, on the back side of it, I see our teachers who are already here, veteran teachers, um, as mentors growing. They're more detailed about their lesson design. Um, they grow as they teach others about the profession of teaching. So. We know that we learn by doing, and um, we see a lot of that going on right here in our classroom. So we just look forward to future partnership and all the good things that come from that. Wow, that's just one small example of what all of our teachers are doing throughout the South Valley. Many of them are in Visalia Unified Schools, but a lot of them are also in different school districts throughout our South Valley because they are in those dual language classrooms. So you can see from just that short video, the relationship that we have with the school district, where our courses are at, where um, they get to work in the classrooms with their mentor teachers. It's a really wonderful relationship that they're building. And it's a time for our student teachers to learn from all of those little things that teachers do. They make so many decisions in a day. They're doing so many wonderful things with their body proximity, the way that their voice is used, how they speak with children, how they set up their classroom, things that we talk about in our courses, but they really get to experience when working with a teacher. It's a really lovely experience but one that also presents a few challenges for our students because they're taking so many courses. They're taking courses all day and into the evening sometimes. They have a lot of face-to-face -face courses even throughout this time, which has been wonderful, but also presents other challenges when it comes to travel to their school sites from their different home locations um, and between their jobs and caring for their families as they may have children and other loved ones that they're caring for that are also on the school schedule. And that's in addition to all their time in the classroom. So those financial ways that we can support them are really helpful. In addition to that support we receive from our community partners, we're thinking about ways that we can continue to grow this program, to grow the number of our teachers in the South Valley, but also to think about the many facets of their identities and to honor that, their families, their community commitments, in addition to their coursework. We're really proud of them. And so one next thing that, that Dr. Nelson and I are going to do is really chat about our favorite things about teaching. Dr. Nelson and I are both former teachers. I was an elementary school teacher. I taught Spanish in elementary school for a little while. And then I taught in the classroom and um, was a literacy coach. And literacy is really my passion, but I love integrating it with others. Dr. Nelson, what was your teaching experience like? So I was a, uh, a science teacher. So uh, probably one of the coolest things about being a science teacher is that we get to have all the cool toys like magnets and magnifying glasses and heat sensitive color changing pencils, all kinds of cool things like that. And uh, I wanna talk a little bit about one of, the, one of the events that we were able to do uh, at Manuel Hernandez Elementary School in Visalia a couple of years ago when we were fully in person, we held a family STEAM night at our school there. And the students in our program put it on. It was a whole arena full of different hands-on science, uh, math, engineering, art activities. And we had about 400 kids and family members from the community come in and take part in that. Uh, that's the kind of thing that we need your support for uh, because those kinds, of, those kinds of events take resources to put on, takes a lot of time and energy and, and effort uh, and coordination uh, to be able to do that. Uh, we haven't been able to do it last year or this year for pretty obvious reasons. But that's one of the things we're really excited about getting back into as we move forward. And so uh, it's, it's really great. That school, Manuel Hernandez, is where our classroom is, where our students take their methods courses. So I'm down there on that school campus every week. And we have a, a building there that Visalia Unified lets us use. And that's our home. And we've got all our science supplies in there. And uh, that's the place where we do lots of great hands-on stuff. In addition to that, 
we're also able to engage many of the teachers that work with our students at, in other kinds of, of learning opportunities too. So we've done things like we had a series of science professional development workshops for them last, last spring. So they could learn the same kind of things that their students, that my students, their student teachers are doing in their class. So that made it really exciting and really got kind of everybody talking the same language and everybody getting excited about many of the things that they're learning. So um, we, we really wanna thank all of our community partners, uh, especially our community college partners. So Dr. Van Horn mentioned about how this is an accelerated program. It is really designed for those for those students who come out of high school knowing they want to be a teacher and they want to get into a fast track to do it. And so they enroll at one of our community college partners, that's College of the Sequoias or West Hills College Lemoore or Porterville College. And they, they enroll in uh, an elementary teacher education major. They take all of their required courses for that they would take at Fresno State, only they're taking them at their home campus then. So they don't have to drive all the way to Fresno. That was one of the, the main visions that we thought about in, in really designing this program was so that they don't have to travel for two hours a day to come to Fresno and take classes. So that part has been really exciting to be able to develop those relationships with our community college partners at places like COS and Porterville College and West Hills Lemoore. But that takes effort and resources too. We really like to bring everybody together and talk about what do we need to be able to offer more courses so students can move through more efficiently? Uh, what kind of things do we need to do to get the messaging out? Uh, to what different ways do we need to follow up on so that students know when we're having information sessions about transferring and joining the ITEP uh, in Visalia. And so we work together with lots of different folks, but uh, that is one of the things that, uh, that we need your help for, is to be able to provide those, those resources and really provide that time for us to be able to work on it. Because honestly, our day job is to teach. <laughs> so uh, this other work that we're talking about is kind of is kind of overtime work that we put in uh, uh, to develop these programs. I also want to mention, you know, we talked about how the ITEP, uh, South Valley ITEP program is really for those students who know coming out of high school that they want to teach. Well, we want to make sure we're addressing that side of, of, the, of the system also. Um, and so uh, coming up in April, on Friday, April the 29th at the Tulare County Office of Education, we're gonna be hosting our Make a Difference Teach Conference. That's a conference for high school students that are interested in becoming teachers. And we'll have all kinds of workshops and sessions and seminars that are put on there by people like Dr. Van Horn and folks from Visalia Unified, like the superintendent that's in charge of human resources to talk about how to get a job teaching in Visalia and from other superintendents and principals to talk about what it's like to teach in a rural school. And what if I wanna be a coach? And what if I wanna teach in special education? All kinds of different aspects of what you wanna think about next. After I graduate from high school, I think I wanna be a teacher. What are some of the different things I need to think about? We have a financial aid workshop that we put on. We have a how to apply to Fresno State workshop that we put on. So all of those things go on and we feed the kids that come. That's a good way to get high school kids to come to a workshop and learn a lot is, is buy them lunch. So uh, we need some resources to be able to put on that, uh, that really exciting conference. We did this uh, two, two and a half years ago, I think it was. And uh, we had about 120 kids came. So we were really excited. We know there's, that they're very interested in this. Uh, we know we have partners at the schools in the South Valley that are talking up uh, becoming a teacher. And so this is our way to, to really kind of uh, tie a bow around that and give them a little bit more background on that. 
Okay, so uh, I think now I, I want to talk to you a little bit about something that I do, uh, about an exciting opportunity that we were able to, to take advantage of just last week. So, um, and that's what this video is all about. So on Friday, October the 29th, our ICAP future teachers were able to go to the Scout Island Outdoor Education Center, which is right on the San Joaquin River in North Fresno, operated by the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools. And they were able to take part in a whole day of hands-on and minds-on learning activities about how we as humans interact with the natural world. So they got all kinds of experiences as future teachers on how to put on these activities for their own students. And so here's one, a quick one we'll take a look at. The area where if the water falls, it all goes to one place. That's what a watershed is. If it falls out there, it goes somewhere else. It might go that way, that way, that way, over that way, over that way. We don't know. We just know what happens to the water here. Okay? All right. So all of these activities are, are, are hands-on. They're all getting students up and moving. And that's what we want them to do with their students. So we do things like a human model of a watershed. We do another activity that's looking at how the rings of a tree are like the years of our lives. And that's a way for us to get to know who our students are. Uh, we do another really fun activity that is the uh, model of the life cycle of a salmon as it swims up the river and down the river and has to jump over uh, over walls and things like that as it as it works to reproduce. So all of these activities are really all about moving, they're all about learning, they're all about enjoying doing science. What we really want is to generate a, an attitude about science that's going to get the kids in these in these future teachers classes excited to go home and tell their families what they learned in science that day. Thank you so much, Dr. Nelson. I really love how you highlighted the value of our community come together with each one of these programs, that it is through our relationships with our community college partners, our local school districts, working with our high school teachers who teach those introduction to teaching courses that come to our Make a Difference Teach conference and really support our students in becoming teachers in the Tulare County area. And thinking also about how the rest of our community is coming together to really support these efforts in many different ways. And so being able to have the funds to support programs like Environmental Science Days, our Make a Difference Teach Conference, and additionally, the types of things that we can do to support teachers as they're going into their classroom. When I first became a teacher, I went into my classroom and I didn't really have any books. And so I was asking retired teachers, I was all my, anytime someone was like, I wanna get you something for a holiday or for your birthday, I'm like, can you get me more books for my kids? And one thing I found is that there are so many amazing books that support our students where they can see characters, authors, and illustrators that look like them, that are multilingual, multicultural, that talk about integrated topics that they're learning about in school. But many of these books aren't in our classrooms all the time because they can be so expensive. And then teachers don't always know about them. And so through a past gift we received, I was able to purchase multiple sets of books that our teacher candidates could start reading and learning how to use in their teaching and bring into the classroom with them. And this is something that I think is really important to think, for me, books are the gift that keep on giving because we can keep reading them. New children will get invigorated by them each year. But it's important for us to think about how we as a community are coming together, not only just to support programs, but also to think about who is in our classrooms. What are the languages that they speak, their identities, their families, and how are those being honored through the texts we choose, the activities we engage in? Dr. Nelson, you're so great at 
talking about water and thing we talk about all the time in the Central Valley. And it makes everything that we're learning about in our classroom, real world knowledge. That's not only something that's applied for uh, an activity in the classroom, but for our lives outside of the classroom. Thinking about how our students are members of the community, how they will think about water in our community, how they will think about how libraries can be used in our community and how we connect with them. And it's a really important thing for us to think about how each one of these um, elements to our teaching does require a lot of support financially that we aren't able to always have in our classrooms that our teachers don't always have access to. And so when a teacher candidate can come in with a new book or a science kit, a new activity, ways to use materials that are in our everyday lives, it helps to in increase the relationship and understanding in our classrooms too. So it's helping our kiddos. It's our helping our current teachers. It's working with our future teachers and it's thinking about our community at large. And I really love that aspect of the work that we do together. So one of the reasons that we're talking to you all today is that we're kind of maxed out on what we're able to do uh, in our program right now. We'd love to grow it. We know there are there is lots more demand for teachers in the South Valley, for fully qualified, well-prepared teachers that have, as, as Dr. Van Horn said before, the gold standard of subject matter preparation that they get from their coursework at Fresno State. And so what we wanna do is to be able to look at how can we expand that? That takes resources and that's why we're, we're talking to you today and we're asking for you to dig deep and get out your checkbook or your credit card or whatever it might be and help support our South Valley Integrated Teacher Education Program.